Hello, this is the presentation of examples 2 and 3 of EC Tools and its interface with C-Engineer. These two examples refer to an existing building that is being assessed as an example 2 and then is being retrofitted and strengthened as example 3. All the features of Eurocode 8 part 3 as they are incorporated within C-Engineer and DC Tools will be presented. The building is a four-story reinforced concrete building with moment resisting frames and four rectangular walls, small walls at the corners, we see them here and it has concrete grade B160, stall 1 lean rebars and a story height of 3 meters. We also have available the existing reinforcement of all the structural elements meaning the beam rebars, the column rebars and the reinforcement of the reinforced concrete walls. This building has been modeled engineer using 1D elements, column elements for the columns, plate elements for the slabs and ribs to model the beams. The walls have been modeled as wall 80 members which also have sub-regions in order for them to model the end columns. We see that the meshing of the columns and the of the beams columns, slabs and walls is not identical. This is because we need higher meshing in the walls in order for the air stresses to be integrated accurately within EC tools. This is of course up to the user. After defining the model, we go to the load cases where the minimum number of load cases is the self-weight, the additional dead load, the live load, the seismic excitation in the X direction, the seismic excitation in the Y direction, and the equivalent static load case in the X and the Y direction, which are the self-weight in the X direction and in the Y direction correspondingly. After that, we go and proceed to the calculation, the linear and model calculation of the model, and after this has been finished, we go to plugins, easy tools, and we export our XML file with all the input data required from easy tools, XML we name it example 2 XML. After doing this export, we close the model after saving it with all the results. After the save has finished, Open the EC Tools software. We select the corresponding XML file and we go to the general options where we have the opportunity to create a log file name with all to define the log file name for the detailed results, which are not for presentation, just for the designer. We have the report language, the technical report, which will, can be presented in any of these languages. And we have also the ability to create a DXF 3D model of the data combined by SIA and EC Tools. We see here the DXF model. This example as it has been created. We see here the story definitions. We see here the names of the walls, the names of all the elements, and also we can see the cross-sections of the elements per story. Then we start with the analysis, but before that we go to the general options, where we have the design options. The design options are the Eurocode we are going to be using, the Q-factor override, which is 2.5, this is done because it's an existing building and in existing buildings you need to have a, a reduced Q factor than the one for new buildings because they have low ductility. 2.5 is a reasonable choice. We then see all the other selections that have been made. 
we designed a configurator called defaults, although we could select one of the national application documents. Then we activate the building check options, where we have the possibility of defining partial safety factors for materials depending on the confidence level we have on our data, according to Eurocode 8 Part 3. And then we proceed to the start of the design. Starting the design, we get this intermediate table which has all the required information regarding the existing elements, meaning the number of rebars, the number of stirrups, the number of inclined rebars. All these are defined either by rebar number or by area. And we also have the opportunity to define a local ductility factor for specific elements. We continue to the intermediate tab which has the materials uh, that are used, the sections that have been defined, the, the, the automatically defined ones and the ones that have been defined by the user and their attributes to each element. In this particular example the walls have been defined as an existing SD meaning section designer elements which have an existing reinforcement corresponding to the one we have defined from our in situ investigations. These sections need to update the automatically created wall sections which are created for when a building is designed as new. So we replace these highlighted sections with the ones we just seen and we continue to the design. We attribute its load case to its name And we have the technical report, which has all the information required to be presented to any authority, like the concrete safety factors, the combinations that are designed, the participations of walls, the torsional sensitivity. And then we see that in the rebar on the right, we see with red all the elements that seem to have failure. We see that many beams have failures, many columns have failures, and most of the walls in the first two stories seem to have failure. A failure factor of 1.2 or 85% in story 2. In story 1 we have a 50% capacity only, meaning that we have a very low capacity rate, meaning that our building is not sufficient to withstand the seismic forces prescribed. In order for us to strengthen our building, we will select a strategy for our retrofitting. Our retrofitting strategy to the clauses of Eurocode 8 is the addition of new reinforced concrete walls. We add four new reinforced concrete walls in the YY direction, as we see in this drawing which are from new materials, meaning concrete C2025 and B500 C rebars. We add these four new walls. We add also shotcrete jackets to all the existing walls in order to increase the reinforcement. And we add also reinforced concrete or shotcrete jackets to any of the columns that are still failing after this intervention. So. To do that, a new model within SIA. A new model within SIA has the additional walls defined with their new material. The additional material, different than the default, is defined as one would expect the concrete in the concrete layer and the rebars, which are different than the default material, are defined from the concrete section of SIA member data on 2D members 2D concrete data where we have as we see different reinforcement 
defined. We then calculate, export, save this model with all the results as described previously and then we proceed to run again the analysis. Before that we also proceed into adding at the wall elements their jackets by creating from the templates the automatic jackets. We add a jacket to each element, we save it and we then open the new file which is the example 3. Example 3 has all the previous selections as we have seen and it also has already prepared the wall elements with their jackets and also in the model we have the new walls added. Again we will get the intermediate table with the existing reinforcement of the 1D elements. We continue. We have here all the sections which are updated. We see that the walls that were the old walls are being updated. They are highlighted to be updated with the new strengthened with subcrit jacket sections while the other ones, the new ones, are to be designed and they were not highlighted. We continue to the design and we see now that none of the walls is failing. Why? Because the old walls now have a jacket, a three-way jacket, a four-way jacket, depending on their location and the architectural constraints. And we see, however, that some of the columns are still failing. For example, column K is to be failing. K11 is a column seen here in this location. So what we do is we select K11 and we add to it a three-way jacket underneath. We save it. We see now that the safety factor has increased. We save it. And then we rerun the analysis. We will see now that K will not be failing. We see now that the columns have their jackets also. We update them and we specifically K11 which has now become blue and is adequate. Why? Because it has its jacket. In this way we can strengthen all the elements we want, even some beams if that is what we require. Thank you very much for your patience.